October 10th, 2009, on the Vancouver News. I watched a reporter talk about this new act that uh, Gordon Campbell and his uh, liberal buddies and business colleagues there are going to try to enact or put into place. Uh, and what this act is, is it's going to be so that if they want, they give you notice if they see a sign up in your window and it's against the Olympics, they'll be able to come into your home, remove the sign, and if they so deem necessary, put you into jail for up to six months. Hmm. Now, this act that he's going to bring in is going, whether they bring it in or not, who knows, they probably will, but it will be totally illegal. There won't be any legal uh, aspects to it at all. And it, the, it's covered in the Constitution. They can't do anything like this. The only way that they could do it is if they enacted the notwithstanding clause uh, in the section of the Constitution. I believe section one, I'm not too sure, but anyways, uh, they could do that. But I doubt whether Gordon Campbell and his fascist friends have that kind of courage, although you never know. When cornered, a rat may turn into a uh, snarling wolf, who knows. But anyways, uh, they're planning on doing this, and I think it's just asinine that they're doing this I mean there's no way anybody can stop the games now they're gonna go ahead they have to I mean we're halfway through or three-quarters of the way through we can't stop it but the public's gonna be in debt for for many generations over this I think it was per projected uh, 2.6 trillion dollars in six years the debt is gonna add up to and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. But that's not what's taking place here. Every time you turn around, these morons and the uh, either liberals or ex-liberals are being caught with their hand in the public trough and feeding like uh, they're in a feeding frenzy and they're they're uh, defrauding the public of as much money as they can get their hands on. There's one there that's was in the newspaper just recently, and they haven't even stopped paying this piece of works company. Uh, it's uh, huge uh, uh, contracts it's just it's just beyond belief how the pu public is being robbed systematically robbed by the politicians that we so stupidly put into power in this in this country and everything about this country has just turned corrupt I mean you can't trust the police forces anymore geez how many police forces we got let's see we have the transit police we have the Vancouver City Police, we have the Olympic Police, we have uh, the RCMP, I and then we have CSIS. We have five different police forces that work in this province right now and in this country. Or, no, just in this province, sorry, I shouldn't say in this country, but in this province. And, and, and then they're going to bring in 5,000 troops and have them walking the streets of Vancouver with ammo in their uh, rifles. And we all know that uh, people, when they get too close together, things happen in that. And I believe if, if any, God forbid, anything ever happens and these people start to shoot citizens on the streets of this country, the whole country is going to erupt in it into a revolution, all caused by some megalomaniac named Gordon Campbell and his liberal despots. And and believe you me, the ones that are in the federal liberals aren't any better. They're they they're all all of the same ilk. And while actually all the politicians in this country are corrupt and 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 they can't be trusted any longer, and the public should just walk away from them. Uh, I don't advocate violence or anything like that. I say just quit voting. You don't bother voting anymore. You just ignore them. And sooner or later, they'll die out. I mean, and, and it's the same with these Olympics. Yeah, I don't think one protester should show up at the Olympics. Make them, uh, maybe a little old lady with a one sign and you give her a hundred bucks to show up there and she could stand there all by herself and make these people look like the fools that they really are. You know, because that's what they are. They're fools. Nothing more, nothing less. And, uh, I mean, we're talking about two weeks here, and it's a party for the rich and the famous. It's got nothing to do with the working class. 
other than the fact that we're going to be fit foot in the bill for these rich rich uh, parasites that feed off so all societies everywhere it doesn't matter where you go these rich parasites are sucking the blood out of decent hard-working honest folk you know they have so much money that they they they, they don't know what to do with it and they they, they continually to to suck in and, and and tear at the flesh of the decent workers and their families and everything else it's just I find the whole thing disgusting I've, I'm beginning to find this country disgusting and these politicians they, they they are the lowest life forms on the planet I don't believe that there's anything lower than a politician except a lawyer who usually is a politician uh, the whole thing is I believe there's going to be lawsuits after lawsuits going on even after the liberals are run out of office I don't believe after this last little these last few stunts that uh, the, the BC liberals will even exist and anybody that thinks about uh, uh, bringing back the Socreds should have their heads red uh, they should be just completely forgotten about and done away with as a party and I believe they should be done away with as a party federally too they don't have any any uh, uh, intention of looking after the public's best interest it's all about their own best interest and that's all of the politicians they're all the same but what what has to happen here is the public has to show their disdain for these people by never not voting not going take your name off the voting lists and and and, and don't get give them that dollar 79 or whatever it is they get when you walk through that deal and and it, provincially if you don't vote that means they don't get the transfer payments from the federal government that they 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 would have got if you're counted if you got, take your name off the ballots and that's what you do you take your name off the ballot ballot and then they don't get the big transfer payments so they can't steal as much money this is the only answer Gandhi uh, conquered an empire that way he never fired a shot and he he, de he defeated the uh, the English Empire and they had to give up uh, India and that was the beginning of their fall as a uh, in their empire building and we have to do the same here we cannot uh, support these governments anymore and their blatant robbery of the of the public we just cannot uh, you know, it, it, these people, they, they, they're, they're, do, they're going against everything the Constitution of this country stands for. The Supreme Court should be filing injunctions against Gordon Campbell, and they're not. Uh, they're not standing up for the public at all. Nobody's saying nothing. We get a few words out of the human rights people, but it's more like whining and sniveling. If I was them, I'd be going after them legally. Of course, most of the most of the people that support that group are, are legal lawyers and, 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 and they're, they're all Campbell supporters so you know you're right back into it again but the best way to do it is you don't vote for any of them and you just take your name off the voting ballot and that's the best way to handle it and uh, they, they can't fight indifference I mean if you don't put up signs and you don't acknowledge their, their Olympics and you just stay away from it it just it'll drive them insane they can't stand it but the minute you go down and you start protesting and waving signs and that you're buying into their bullshit don't give them an avenue in which to go after you anyways that's about it for that this one have a good one